If you want to be able to show your formulas or functions because you don't want to go from one cell to the next and look up here in the formula bar and, and go, okay, I see that one. Let me go to the next cell. Okay, I think that's the, pretty much the same. Go ahead and use the display formula option. And not only does it display it, but it'll actually allow you to print it. So you can do that by coming up here, clicking on the formulas tab, going to the formula auditing group, and it's that guy right there. You can see when I hover over it, in the pop-up it says show formulas, and the shortcut key is the control grave accent. I think in an earlier training video I said apostrophe. Well, I meant the grave accent or the key that has the tilde on it. In any case, use the shortcut keys or click on it. Pops it open. Let's scroll over to the right. And hey, there you go. You don't get the results, but you can actually look at the functions now in full view without going from one cell to the next. And then you can compare and contrast between the two. And do the print? Of course they do. File, down to print. Although my spreadsheet hasn't been set up so it can print all in one page. We learned about that in an earlier training video, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and quickly go over to see, click on to zoom in, that they'll print here. So let's go ahead and go back, and if I don't want them to print, but just the results, then control grave accent or the tilde, and we're back to where we started. You can do it that way, or you can go ahead and double click within the cell, and just before the equal sign at the very beginning, go ahead and add an apostrophe, hit enter, let me scroll over and it will display the function. And if you want to go back to the formula, then go ahead and select the cell. And notice that in the cell itself, before the equal sign, you don't see the apostrophe, but when you look up in the formula bar, you can see it. Or if you double click in the cell, then you can see it within the cell. Go ahead and hit the backspace key to delete the apostrophe, hit enter, and we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.